So, Salima, please tell me a little bit about your background. You have an unusual one working in the private sector. So how did you get started, and, and what is it that you've been doing? You know, <clears throat> I think all women, especially in our part of the world, they need to create a way the way they want to see their life. So when I was married very young, at the age of 16, became a mother at 17, I wanted to be educated, I wanted to be economically empowered, because I've seen the discrimination uh, between the men and women mm -hmm. in our society. So I finished my studies and, uh, and uh, with the child, uh, the best option was to be involved into the private sector, having my own business. So I, I, I started with my husband uh, business and then it was very, very successful. Now it is one of the largest uh, company in, in Bangladesh in, in automobile sector. Uh, but, uh, but in this journey, I was thinking that what uh, you women need. So women need uh, lots of support, uh, lots of ambiences, lots of environment, which are gender friendly environment, even in the house, in the society, or in anywhere. Mm -hmm. So that is why I created the Bangladesh Women Chamber of Commerce and Industry. And when I created, there's a huge you and cry that, you know, why separate chamber of commerce for women? Uh, I had to be in the court. Mm -hmm. I have to fight for that institution for seven years. Finally, we got the, uh, you know, permission. But within that journey, we all the women, the entrepreneurs, uh, we, we really uh, become very close mm -hmm. in crisis. Mm -hmm. And we identify that what are our issues. Mm -hmm. So we actually, with the uh, support of Center for International Private Enterprise, mm -hmm. we actually try to find out what is the uh, women's national business agenda. What are their agenda? So we uh, discussed and, you know, ultimately we identified three uh, agendas. Mm -hmm. And interest, interestingly, that time, and you know, Bangladesh is a land of mi microcredit, but women wanted to go to, to, to the bank to have mm -hmm. more, you know, financial mm -hmm. access. But they are not getting it because there was lack of, uh, you know, properties. Mm -hmm. uh, so three agendas was identified. First was social barriers, mm -hmm. second was capacity building, and third was access to finance. Mm -hmm. So we, what we did, we identified the policies, existing policies, and what need to be done. And we made a you know, action plan according to that. So first thing when, when we are doing the capacity building, the social barriers issues, on that also the access to finance. So we lobbied with the government and with the Bangladesh Bank the central bank, uh, to have a separate um, allocation or separate circular for women entrepreneurs. And I think it is the first time, definitely in South Asia, mm -hmm. but I think in the world, that the central bank has given a circular that, you know, beyond 25 lakhs taka, mm -hmm. which is about $20,000 or something mm -hmm. like that, uh, women entrepreneurs can get access to loan mm -hmm. without collateral and that was the low rate of interest in mm -hmm. the country. Mm -hmm. That really give, gave a huge you know, mileage for the women entrepreneurs who would like to come to the small, medium, large industries. Mm -hmm. And now if you go to Bangladesh, you know, the entrepreneurship of women need to be developed. That has been re recognized not even by the society, not even by the community, but by the government. Mm -hmm. So that is the, you know, achievement the, with the Women's Chamber of Commerce in my journey I have done. <coughs> Excuse but, me. <coughs> but as you said, you know, I was involved also with the um, Women's Democracy Network of International Republican Institute. I am now a national, uh, International Advisory mm -hmm. Council member there. But I, I, I learned uh, about how to train um, in the, you know, women into leadership. Mm -hmm. So I thought, why women entrepreneur mm -hmm. uh, can't come into pol politics, or why sh they shouldn't? Because as an entrepreneur, your times are flexible. As an entrepreneur, you have much more resources than other women. 
because sometimes politics you need money. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I train 300 women personally, but now about 700 women entrepreneurs who would like to run for offices from the local level to the main parliament. We mm -hmm. have discussed and we have trained their capacities. And, and you're thinking of doing it yourself now as well. Yeah, so now coming to the Dapper Hill, you know, I always believe in democracy because if democracy was not there in my personal life, if I was not given the choice of educating myself, if I was not given the options to empower myself by my family or the society, I would not have been here today. So uh, for me, democracy is very, very important because I, I see democracy just as a choice, mm -hmm. freedom of choice. Mm -hmm. And for a Bangladeshi woman, freedom of choice is huge. Uh, you know, achievement. So coming to the Draper Hill, you know, I learned so much uh, from you all and I'm so, so grateful. And in all my, you know, TV talk show mm -hmm. or in all my, uh, uh, you know, speeches, I, I, uh, something which I learned from Draper Hill, mm -hmm. I always add. Mm -hmm. And which also I found that, you know, I, we, in the Draper Hill, we, we the uh, faculties has, uh, you know, given example of so many countries, so many leaders. Mm -hmm. But also, I learned that leaders can bring changes, which I could do from the Women's Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. So I got actually I was awarded by the Islamic Development Bank, uh, twenty five thousand dollar, and I did a commitment that I'll do a skill development center. So I went to my village and started uh, uh, to do so. But within that journey, I found also that. You know, in the village, in the small town, politicians are very important. Because politicians, especially the politicians who are in the parliament, the mem being the members of the parliament, they can play a very important role. Because many things which we lobby, uh, maybe we are successful, sometimes we are not successful. But if someone who believes in democracy, who believes uh, in equality, uh, who believes that you know there has to be social changes in the economic arena? They should come into politics. Mm -hmm. So I thought, then why not me? Mm -hmm. So I started uh, working uh, with the uh, political people uh, in my uh, neighborhood and also in my area. And I, I, what I found that the people doesn't want much from the politicians. They only want to see that their surroundings are comfortable. They want electricity. They want good roads. Uh, they would like to see the sanitary systems. The waters are not, you know, uh, not uh, blocked. Uh, so very small, small things which can be done very easily. It's nothing. They don't want the moon. You to bring the moon mm -hmm. uh, from the space. It is very ground uh, sort of demand they have. So that's why I'm trying, I'm working, mm -hmm. uh, and I have, I'm seeking a nomination from the political party. And if I get the nomination, I'll run for office, and I'll, I'm sure if I get the nomination, I will win, and okay. I'll become well. a member of the parliament. But uh, also, I'd like to say that you know, Bangladesh has created a liberation movement. And uh, Bongo Mundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, if he was not a politician, and he, if he didn't call for the liberation movement, mm -hmm. uh, the independence would not have uh, been, uh, and we would not be a private sector person the way we are now. Mm -hmm. So, um, so politicians always play a very important role in the community, in the people's life, in the society, and in the nation. And Assuming you get elected, what's your top priority to, uh, going to be? What problem do you really want to solve first? Yeah, the first uh, thing is that, you know, reducing poverty. Mm -hmm. uh, the poverty uh, level is uh, decreasing, but one thing is very important, that having equality. It's not only men and women, uh, women. It's, it's about everyone. The humanity, the inequality very much exists, especially in the rural areas. Mm -hmm. That's what I would like to see, that everyone, whatever the position they are, rich or poor, men and women, children, youth, or the adult, that equality exists. And that, that is the way, or that's the goal I have, to bring a peaceful environment 
where everyone is equal and can have self-respect. Well, we certainly wish you good luck uh, in you. your new endeavors and uh, uh, also are very glad that you're going to be able to bring some of your experience and skills to bear on these problems. Thank of you very course. much. Thank you. Thank you.